2016, the Pew Research Center and the History Channel conducted a survey of American adults of different ages, races, political views, educational levels, and income regarding the events in their lifetime that had the greatest impact on them. Making the list were the Vietnam War, the assassinations of John Fitzgerald Kennedy and Martin Luther King Jr., the Apollo 11 moon landing by astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, the terror attacks on September 11, 2001 that we refer to as 9-11, and the 2008 election of President Barack Obama. If that survey would be taken again today, I am convinced the coronavirus would be added to that list. Life as we know has changed in a month. Our routines have shifted. Our most prized institutions, public education, healthcare, small business, the justice system, and even the church, are being challenged in ways we never thought possible. What was once nailed down has come loose. At Word Tabernacle Church, we believe a structured social and a spiritual response is what is most needed in this hour to bring a sense of confidence in what may be our most tested moment. To accomplish this, our leadership have adapted a fourfold approach, concern for church, compassion for community, cooperation with our civic entities, and commitment to Christ. Here's what that means for you. We've shifted a model from a regional model to a global model, a global slash local model, where we are still connected, but instead of being connected between two campuses, we're connected on five campuses. In addition to our main campus and East Campus, We've established an online campus where our members connect either on the church website or on Facebook or on YouTube for Sunday worship and Tuesday Bible study. The Sunday 8 a.m. worship is now live on 92.1 FM, and that enables us to reach our own community of Rocky Mount and Wilson, but also Raleigh, Cary, Wilson, Zebulon, Morrisville, Apex, Clayton, and surrounding areas. We've added a 12 noon ASL service in our American Sign Language campus. This is designed to meet the needs of the deaf and hard of hearing community. We've also added a telecampus for our members that are hospitalized in nursing homes or without internet. They can call in and listen to worship or Bible study. We believe that anything that was critical to our faith before this virus is still critical. So our ordinances, our spiritual disciplines, and our stewardship will remain a vital part of the word experience. We will still share in communion on first Sundays as a part of our worship experience. And we've created an electronic link for you to submit your prayer requests. Or you can call into the new prayer line where someone will pray for you or you can leave a message with your prayer requests. There's also a Monday 12 noon, Wednesday at midnight, and Saturday at 7 a.m. prayer call. Your giving options include the newly installed after hours drop box at the administration entrance on the main campus, ACS, text giving, and cash app. Of course, all of these methods allow for your giving 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Facebook groups have been formed for all of our districts. We hope you as members will join in to connect with other members in your community or in your city. Our men's and women's roundtables will soon begin using Zoom or other platforms that work best for various groups of people. We've continued to offer tutoring to our lower, middle, and high school students using Google Classroom. And on Mondays and Thursdays, our 18 to 21 year olds connect on Instagram Live. Youth Bible study is still happening on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. during our regularly scheduled Bible study. And our 6th to 12th graders still connect at Google Hangouts on Sundays at 12 noon. We've also developed new partnerships. One with the Interfaith Food Shuttle to offer a mobile market to ensure that no family in our community is hungry. The second with the Reach Center, the Chamber of Commerce, and Nash Rocky Mount Rotary Club to provide displaced workers in hospitality, retail, cosmetic arts, 
and barbering with utility, rent, prescription drug, and food assistance. The third, with Nash Rocky Mount Schools, Edgecombe County Schools, and Rocky Mount Prep to assist with food distribution and Wi-Fi availability. And the fourth, with the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services and the Centers for Disease Control to provide daily updates regarding at-risk groups and the most recent statistics and advances. We recognize that this is a time where protecting our mental health is equally important. And so our counseling staff is here to serve you on an on-call basis. Because we're still experiencing people making decisions for salvation and church membership, we are developing a Zoom-based new member class. Finally, we've introduced the Maximizing the Moment campaign. Each day, we as a family focus on a different area of development. Sabbath Sundays, where we rest and we reverence God. Membership Mondays, where we engage and encourage our church members. Teaching Tuesday, where we focus on learning, listening, and leading. Working Wednesdays, where we serve others sacrificially. Thriving Thursdays, where we emphasize faith, family, fitness, and finances. Family Fridays, where we intentionally interact with those closest to us. And Social Saturdays, where we connect, we collaborate, and we create new relationships in our communities and within our existing circles. As you can see, we believe this season is designed to bring out the best in us and in our community. God is a creator, and we are like him when we are creating and not consuming. What is most exciting for me is that these initiatives will continue long after this pandemic is over, as we were careful to ensure that our ministry work is sustainable and to minimize the need for too many changes in the future. All of our efforts are directed toward the health and well-being of our church and community. We continue to desire to see the holistic health of people. As we are told in third John, the third letter of John, beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Because the church is an essential organization, we remain open should you stop by. We want you to be confident that our building is disinfected daily by our campus division staff. In closing, I want to say to the Word Tabernacle Church family, thank you. Thank you for the confidence you have placed in our leadership. Thank you for trusting us to continue to serve five generations of Wordites. Thank you for your response to all of our efforts. Thank you for being faithful in your service. And thank you for your giving. Remember, even in this, we will get stronger, grow deeper, and go higher. Be safe, be well, be encouraged.